Tonight, as we head into this 4th of July weekend, there are warnings of extra vigilance and increased security in public places all across the country. Airports are on high alert after that attack in Istanbul. This is the scene in Atlanta today. Heavily armed police on patrol. And here in New York, officers in tactical gear with a watchful eye on the flood of visitors headed into the city. And the highways will be crowded from coast to coast this weekend. Severe weather warnings also in the forecast. This storm brewing near St. Louis, Missouri. ABC's David Curley starts us off tonight as millions of Americans are on the move. Heightened security tonight in some major airports across the country. In Atlanta, more officers, more guns, and a mayor who says he's going to push security beyond the front door of his airport. I can't discuss um, what we're doing to harden the perimeter of Hartsville Jackson, but what I can tell you is that it's substantial and it's serious. That after Istanbul, the second deadly overseas airport terrorist attack in three months. The question tonight, will other cities follow Atlanta? When you drive up to most airports, there are no visible signs of security, and few airports actually use security checkpoints. Los Angeles, one of the airports doing so. All this is a record number of travelers are taking to the skies. More than two and a half million will fly tomorrow alone for the holiday. I definitely seen more police. I was just that much more aware and much more concerned. While there is plenty that is visible this weekend, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. There are going to be undercover police officers in many airports, just dressed like travelers, looking for anything suspicious. Also, uh, officers trained in behavioral analysis, looking for any sort of suspicious behaviors. Security extended for the holiday to train stations, too, and other transit hubs. But the majority of Americans traveling for the fourth, 84 percent, will be driving. One estimate suggests a record 36 million will be behind the wheel. The TSA is also redeploying what it calls Viper Team, visible protection teams. They include behavior and explosive experts. They'll be out where people can see them, Cecilia. Okay, and again, that warning to be vigilant. David, thank you.